one of the most mind-boggling videos in regards to contrails, whatever you call it. A spectacular orb is in front of it. What the heck is it? Is this just some kind of, you know, commercial airliner spewing out junk or is it something else? I got a feeling there's something going on in the skies in regards to these sightings. I want to get to dark hour. Michael, what's your thoughts on this? This video is quite visually spectacular looking at the contrails coming off of this object that's bright against the background of the sky. Uh, at first glance, I noticed that the two predominant lights we're seeing are red and green. And I do know that FAA lights uh, are just those two colors. In fact, the red is usually on the left side. Uh, it's on the left wing and the green is on the right side. Occasionally, they will flash together to make the plane a bit more visible. But as we continue to watch this video, and even towards the end here where we're really zoomed up, we see that there are multiple lights flashing for which I can't identify a source on this craft itself. It almost looks to be glistening or sparkling the way that Christmas lights light up in tinsel. It's really fantastic, and again, the contrails that are coming off of this, could that possibly be something chemical, or could it be something environmental? We're looking at the heat radiating off. This clip is an example of the outrageous anomalies that we are seeing in our skies these days, and although there is plenty there in the way of visualization, we're still not entirely sure what we're seeing. I want to get to Dr. J. Dr. J, what's your thoughts on this video? Okay, this video is definitely harder to uh, explain, of course, unless the people who uh, are piloting it were able to tell us. Now, could this be an experimental military vehicle? Well, yes, but let me argue why I don't think so. If you are, say, a general, and you are testing this new technology of a new airplane that cost tens of millions, possibly over a billion dollars, if not more, after the research and development. Are you going to really test this over civilians, over residential areas? Or would you rather test it in a desolate area such as Area 51, Groom Lake, or say in the middle of the ocean? Here, you have something that arguably looks like one craft with different sizes of lights. However, other people could argue, well, what if it's multiple craft that are all sort of grouped into one? It's hard to say, honestly. I don't know which of the two people are going to argue for, but I tend to see it as one giant craft with different size lights that are glowing. And in some screenshots that you guys have been able to take in enlarge, I see a little bit of structure, but not much, obviously because they are blinded by the lights. I also note the witness reaction to it. The witnesses, plural. I definitely love that. And so with the case that I made that it is not likely something that would be tested by the military or any human near a residential area. And if they were to test it in a residential area, they would test it if it was cloaked and silence and all this other stuff. Yes, there's silence here with the craft, but it's not cloaked. As a matter of fact, if they're trying to hide it from the public, they're doing anything but that by having such a thing be so openly visible to people. When I first saw this video, I was kind of blown away. At first, I thought it was an aircraft kind of on flames. Maybe something happened, a, a catastrophic event that was making this plane fall out of the sky because it looks like it's on fire. We're taking a close look at it and you can see it's under control. And that's the weird part. Could this be some secret technology, some cloaking that kind of hides the planes or something else? Could it be a military? experiment these are all the questions we need to ask right here doc skinner from 1028 productions what's your thoughts on this one yeah so i checked out this video you guys sent me um it makes me first off think that it possibly could be a meteorite or a comet um depending on the type of mineral it could be uh would be the reasons for the colors and that's how I would probably explain this one as it being a meteorite coming in. 
and it being certain minerals, and that would give you a, a green color or a red color. But the fact that it's strobing the whole gamut of colors um, throws that theory kind of out the window. And as I'm watching it, here, let me pull this back and, and look real quick and pause as it zooms in. You notice that there are other, you know, we could say fragments that are traveling beside this large pulsing, very bright, kind of like when sulfur catches fire and it's it's like this, like um, a, a welder's spark bright. It's that kind of bright. That's what it looks like. And... Um, but it would break apart by then, you would think. And then you have the other other dots or, or little, uh, uh, what do you call it, escorts that are following beside it. Um, it's, it's a compelling video. I don't know for sure. I do think I'm going to lean more towards it's possibly a meteorite coming into the atmosphere. But then I, I'm doubting at the same time that it could be something else because of the way those colors are are flashing quickly and um, multiple colors. It couldn't be just one substance. So could this be a uh, unidentified, I don't know what, um, but who knows? It's 2021. Things are crazy. Now let's get to our next video coming out of Florida. Check this out. I've Look. never seen a cloud that just sits I had a there. Dream, a UFO. Pay attention to all the other clouds. It really is. It's like a that, UFO though. coming to Everything else is already gone. Huh? Everything is already sunset. And the moon's on the other side of the world. Get off of me. This is just the sitting there. All of us gonna get caught. caught, really? Even Both me. of us gonna get caught because I'm holding on to you. You know what? It's when UFO Yo, that's some scary shit, shit though, for real, though. UFO come, like, it's so much power, you can't move in it. It's like a not like a um, It's a gravity pull. Is that it's so much electricity? It's like a mat. It looks like a dog. A dog? No, it's like a pit like blue. Like blue. Look at the ears. You see the ears pointy? Right, let's get to Richard from Goofon. I want to get his opinions on this. Okay, this next one is very strange. It is a cloud of some sort, maybe it's uh, a craft that created its own environment around it, you know, maybe the propulsion system of this craft created a cloud around it, because if you hear what the witness says is that it's not moving, it's, it looks like a cloud, but it isn't acting like a cloud, which is very strange. It almost looks like it's, it has its own light coming out from it. Is it the altitude and is it near sunset? Is that why we're seeing this cloud look like this? If it is a cloud, I don't know, but I think I have seen something similar to this and there was no explanation to it a long time ago. Uh, I saw something very similar, a cloud, and this cloud would sit in one spot, and it was almost changing shapes. And this reminds me of that. It's almost as if something is cloaking itself and is just sitting there acting like a cloud. We hear that a lot. The crew was on board a flight, and they captured in one single frame a red orb essentially doing such a radical maneuver that it looks like an infinity sign and an and sign at the same time. That's what I gather from one of the photos when they seem to be dropping down and to the right a bit. Other than that, I have to say fantastic footage and I look to forward to see what everyone else says. Yeah, we received these photographs here, I think four of them, and I can tell you, whatever we're looking at, it's not CGI. We're seeing four different orbs kind of creating a trail, which is quite unique. Some people might say it's Starlink, but then again, you don't see Starlink in the daytime. What we're seeing is something that's captured in the daytime right at dusk. So again, what is this? 
I want to thank everybody for joining us around the world on this special report right here at Third Phase Moon, along with the panel. We appreciate the discussion. That's what it's all about. Your opinions count as well. I want to see it in the comments below. Tell us what you think of the videos you saw tonight. And if you've captured anything amazing in regards to the UFO phenomenon, upload that video to YouTube, copy paste that link to my email. We'll take a look. Everybody keep your eyes on the skies. Be safe out there. Blake Cousins. Thanks everybody on the panel. We'll see you next time. Confirms something that's been rumored for a while. Late last year, a U.S. Navy F-18 fighter jet took a very clear photograph on a personal phone of a triangle-shaped unidentified aerial phenomenon. That vehicle, whatever it was, appeared to be operating with a propulsion system that generated no visible exhaust. see essentially a black triangle, uh, white sort of indicator lights on its uh, peripheral tips coming out of the water very quickly uh, and then accelerating at extremely high speed uh, at about a 90 degree angle. So expand on that a little bit. There have been over the years a number of reports of unidentified underwater vehicles moving in ways that don't make any sense at all. T tell us what you know about that. Are beyond any capability that, that we can identify with an Earth nation, either in delivery, in platform, something that a military is showing, or is in development. The world's largest UFO hunt is on. A black triangle, uh, white sort of indicator lights on its uh, peripheral tips coming out of the water. UFO investigators Blake Cousins in search of off-world vehicles along with his twin brother Brent Cousins. Is there ET presence among us? In search for the truth, disclosure is happening now. The UFO report has the largest archive of the best UFO videos from around the world. Hidden secrets waiting to be unlocked. Incredible UFO videos captured around the world by the public. Underwater UFOs, which behave in ways that science can't explain. If you ever wonder whether we're alone in the universe, the answer is here. Turn the music off. Oh, dude, my God. UFO Report, Third Phase of Moon. We're not.